What up, everybody? How is everybody doing today? How is everybody doing today? We're going to be reading today Genesis 22, the sacrifice of Isaac. Uh, yesterday, we read Genesis 20 and 21, which, well, you guys already know what that was all about. And we left off at, um, let's see, Genesis 21. We left off at, let's see, we left off at where? Oh, the Treaty of Abimelech. Treaty of Abimelech. And remember, Abraham uh, was in the city uh, that Abimelech, Abimelech uh, provided for him. And uh, some of Abimelech's men took away the well. Took away the well. What is the well symbolic for? The well, what, is the, what, does, the, what does the well have? The well has water. Remember, Jesus Christ said, in the New Testament, the water that I will give you, you will never thirst again if I give you this water. So the well really symbolizes Jesus Christ. But anyways, uh, we're going to be reading Genesis 22 today. Maybe we're, we'll go on to Genesis 23. Who knows? Let's let the Holy Spirit lead, read. I mean, lead, lead in today's Daily Bread Bible for Beginners. But you guys already know. Before we read anything, we should pray for the Holy Spirit to join us and lead us. Father in heaven, thank you again for another another opportunity to read the Bible. We are asking you now to please send us your Holy Spirit so that we can be led um, today in this reading and so that you can teach us what we need to learn, Father. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Mm, I think I have something in my nose. Wow. All right. Uh, Genesis 22, the sacrifice of Isaac. This is symbolic. Sacrifice of Isaac? Symbolic already from the, the very title. And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Be Behold, here I am. Uh, and he said, Take now thy son, thine only son, Son Isaac. Wait a minute. His only son? Didn't he have Ishmael too? Well, to God, Isaac was the promised son. So, to God, Isaac was the only son of Abraham. Whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, Moriah and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one uh, of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. And Abraham rose up. Okay, so some atheists have a problem with this because they, you know, they, they think that God is, I thought there was water here, but speaking of water, there's no water here. But they, they you know, a lot of atheists are going to have something against this because they're like, oh, wait, wait a minute. So God is wanting to for Abraham to sacrifice his son. Oh, that's that's evil. And but see, you got to look at the context. In this, during this time, during this time, a lot of people, uh, during his day, there was a lot of pagans who are sacrificing their um, sons, their firstborn sons and daughters, even uh, to their sun gods. In this time, in this time frame, when when Abraham existed, and so now here's God talking to Abraham, like talking to Abraham. He can hear him, right? Talking to Abraham saying, Go and sacrifice your son. Wait a minute. You mean just like the pagans? Sacrifice my son? But what's different? What's different? What's the difference between the pagans and uh and Abraham? Abraham was talking to the to the true God. Abraham was talking to the true God. And if Abraham had faith in the true God, if Abraham had faith, the sun will resurrect. But we'll get into all that later. Okay, so. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and clave the wood for the, for the burnt offering and rose up and went unto the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. 
On the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes. On the third day. On the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes. Now this is, again, we're seeing a lot of symbolism here, but we can't really dig deep into these things. I, I hope one day, I hope one day we're going to come to a point where we can all, you know, study, have an advanced study, Bible study, where we can dig deeper into these things. But right now, let's just move on. So Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off where God wanted him to go. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the word or the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son. What? Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son. See, another Christophany here. Another picture of what Christ is going to do. You see, this is the reason why Jesus Christ said to to those uh, after he he uh, mm, no 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 Jesus Christ said to those people he says um, you read the scripture for in them you think you have eternal life but they are they that testify of me Christ said and this is why we see Abraham and Isaac's story but really we're seeing a picture of what Jesus Christ is going to do in his ministry in the future after you know way in the future after abraham how do you how, how how does that i mean why you say how 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 is that even a how is that a picture of jesus christ look at this abraham took the wood and laid it upon isaac his son and isaac is what the sacrifice isaac is the sacrifice abraham took wood and laid it on isaac who's was was there wood that was laid upon Jesus Christ, the true sacrifice? Yes. This is a picture of that. So, Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac, his son. And he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they went both of them, and they went both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham, his father, and said, My father, and he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood. But where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Now, what Abraham is about to say, what Abraham is about to say might, you guys, some of you guys might miss this. And what Abraham is about to say is very significant. Check this out. What Abraham says, check it out. Isaac says, where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham says this, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. God will provide himself the sacrifice. God will provide himself the sacrifice he will provide himself as the sacrifice is what i'm trying to say so they went both of them together and they came to the place which god had told him of uh, god had told them of and abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and both isaac his son uh, and bound isaac his son bound what is what does being bound mean in the Bible? Being bound means being in a bondage of sin. Again, when God took Israel out of Egypt, He said, I took you out of the house of bondage, the house of sin. Being bound in the Bible is a symbol for sin. So, Isaac says, or um, the Bible says, that Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son. So Isaac was bound that means isaac was carrying sin another christophany who is the one that carries our sins jesus christ who is the one that carried our sins jesus christ and then he was sacrificed and laid on him on the altar upon the wood 
Uh, and Ab Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called upon him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. The angel of the Lord. See, this is very significant. Uh, th these things are... I believe that this, this is very pivotal. Uh, a very pivotal part of the Bible. I mean, it's not the only... It's not the only Everything in the Bible is important, but I think when we read this, this is there's there's something there's you know there's a lot of significant things that's going on here. Um, so the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham, and he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad. Who's talking? The angel of the Lord is talking, right? The angel of the Lord is talking, and he says, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do any thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, from me. Now this is the angel of the Lord talking. But now he's saying, now I know that you haven't withheld your son from me. Who is this angel that that uh, that is saying this? That has the authority to even say this? Now I know that you're, you don't withheld your son from me. Who is this angel of the Lord? Hmm... Interesting. Okay, anyways. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. A thicket is uh, bushes. A thicket is bushes. Usually there's, a, there's thorns and thistles in the thicket. Thorns and thistles. So the ram was caught in thorns and thistles by his horns. Remember, a horn... Hmm. Should I do this right now? Should should I do this right now? Should I do this? Let's dig a little bit deeper. Let's dig a little bit deeper. Okay. A horn in the Bible. Okay, let's let's dig. Let's dig a little bit. Horn. Um, okay. A horn in the Bible, Habakkuk 3 verse 4, it says, And his brightness was as the light, and he had horns coming out of his hands. Who had horns? This is Jesus Christ. God came from Teman, Taman, and the Holy One. And, okay, so God was talking about God now. It says, And his brightness was as the light, and he had horns coming out of his hands, and there was the hiding of his power. So the horns hid the power of God. The horns represent the power of God. The horns represent the power of God. Okay, now let's go to Genesis 22, verse, I believe it was verse 14, right? Um, no, verse 13. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram, a clean animal, a ram, representing Christ, caught in the thicket, caught in the bushes of thorns and thistles, a ram, Christ, caught in the thorns. Christ was caught in the thorns by his horns. Power. By his power. He did not show his power here, did he? When he was here on earth, he did not show his power. He, he, uh, the, the only thing that he showed his, was his faith in God. God was the one doing all those miracles through Jesus Christ. He, Jesus Christ did not show his own power here. So now we have a ram, a clean animal, caught in the thorns and the thistles by his horns, power. And that ram was the sacrifice. It says, And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. In the stead of his son. That means instead of his son. The ram took the blame for sin. The ram died. The ram was sacrificed instead of the son. Powerful. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Jireh, Jireh, as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. And the angel of the Lord called unto Adam, or Abraham, 
out of heaven a second time and said, By myself have I sworn, saith the Lord. Wait a minute. The angel of the Lord is now speaking and he says, By myself have I sworn, saith the Lord. For because thou hast done this thing and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply th thy seed as the stars of heaven, and as the sand which is upon the, sea sh the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. All the nations. See, there's so many things happening here. All the nations, not just one nation, not just the Jews, not just the, 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 the Hebrews, not just the, the Israelites, all the nations of the earth will be blessed by thy seed, in thy seed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. So Abraham returned unto his young men, and they rose up and went together to Beersheba, and Abraham dwelt at Beersheba. And it came to pass after these things that it was told Abraham, saying, Behold, Milka or Mal Milka, yeah, Milka, she hath also borne children unto thy brother Nahor, Huz his firstborn, and Buzz or Booz, his uh, brother, and Kimuel, the father of Amim, Aram, and Chesed, and Hazo, and Pil Pildash, and Jidlaf, and Bethul, and Bethul begat Rebekah. These eight. Milcah did bear to Nahor and Abram, uh, Abram's wife. And his concubine, whose name was Reuma, Re, Re, she bare also Teba and Gaham and Thahash and Maka or Macha. I don't know how to say that name. Okay, anyways, that is what we have today. This is a lot to take in. There's so many symbols here. That I mean, this literally happened, but there's so many symbols here that we can just dig deep into. And there's so many things here that we can learn from. But uh, that's that's it for today. We don't really have time to, to do anything else. So um, thank you guys for coming by. Let's pray and thank God that we have had this lesson. Our Father in heaven, we just thank you, Father, for again giving us this light, giving us this opportunity to um, to study your word, Father. Thank you, Father, for our daily bread. Thank you, Father, for um, teaching us today about your Son and about uh, all these things that symbolize Him uh, in the Old Testament. Father, thank you, and may you continue to bless us today. May you continue to bless us in our studies. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you guys again for coming by. Thank you for stopping by in this Bible for Beginners episode. Um, if you guys were blessed by this, Bible study, make sure to like and share. Share with your friends, your family, your coworkers, your relatives, anybody who you know would be blessed by this Bible study. Again, you guys are just as much part of this ministry as I am, so please like and share. Um, and also, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe if you guys want more Christian content, Bible studies, Bible for beginners, uh, daily devotionals, and things like that. And also, make sure to hit the bell so that you guys can get notified every time we upload a video or go live on here. And of course, guys, if you want to uh if you are inspired to support this ministry please do so by praying for this online video ministry and also donating at schoolforprofits.tv and we will take the donation and we will use it to make more bible study films bible study videos and also to advertise these videos so that we can reach more people out there with the gospel thank you guys again praise god always and i'll see you guys on discord link is in the description sign up for free i'm there regularly. Peace out.